Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Door Channel, and in today's video, I'll share how I've helped my kids set up Trello to organize their high school assignments and schoolwork. So I've been testing out two organizational systems in parallel for my grad school work, Trello and Todoist. They're both great applications, but they're different. Based on their different preferences, one of my high schoolers is using Trello and the other one is using Todoist. In this video, I'm going to share how you can set up Trello to help you organize all of your high school assignments and work. So I have a massive pet peeve about high school and the way that assignments are given. In middle school, assignments were given out day by day, but there was quite a bit of hand-holding and some leeway to make sure that students got things done. In college, Professors are required to give their students a syllabus at the beginning of the semester with the entire four months um, of the semester already entirely planned out week by week. High school, by contrast, is like this black hole where they stop holding your hand, but each teacher throws assignments at you willy-nilly with absolutely no pre-planning. And they wonder why teenagers don't have great executive functioning skills. I really think high school teachers should be required to plan out at least one month in advance knowing of course that things might shift you know due to snow days or other extenuating circumstances and I, and yes i know that some high school teachers totally do this but a great many do not and i think the kids really suffer there's just really no reason that high school should be more confusing and harder to manage than college but that is the situation we have so i'm in grad school and i've been using trello for organizing i have a video where i walk through this process if your high school functions a little bit more like a college in that your teachers have thoroughly planned out months of assignments in advance you may want to view that video instead i'm assuming for the purposes of this setup that your teachers may have a couple of big projects or papers planned with due dates but that the other assignments are coming at you on a weekly or a daily basis Okay, so if you're brand new to Trello, I recommend that you look for and watch my overview video to get a sense of what Trello is and how it differs from other organizational systems. After that, sign up for a free account and create a board called <clears throat> whatever you want. If you're a high school student, I'm assuming this is gonna be your main organizational system for everything since schoolwork is the bulk of your responsibilities. So in that case, I might call it, if it were mine, I might call it Lara's board or Lara's tasks. Okay, so now that you have your board ready, let's start adding some lists. The first list is general info. So this is actually a notes type list. You're gonna keep basic information here. I might put in a card for your class schedule and a card for uh, the school year calendar. Maybe a card with some contact information for your school counselor or your athletic, I mean your um, athletic or academic coach. You can also put in some notes about our extracurricular activities here. This is just a place where you're storing general information. Next, make a list called class info. So once you've created this list, you're gonna make a card for every class on your schedule. Each class will have information that you may need for the class. For example, teacher contact info, names and links to textbooks, links to online classrooms or resources. So I would also attach the syllabus if you have one. Finally, for each class, I would choose a label and a color. So Trello has six default labels and colors. Um, you can start with those or you can create your own. You will be using these labels to color code assignments. So I would also name them using this edit button. So for example, let's, see, let's say that AP World is going to be green. So go ahead and put in the text. Now from now on, you can apply this label using a keyboard sh uh, shortcut. Since it is the, in the first label position, when you are hovering over a card in the browser version of Trello, you can toggle the label on and off by hitting the number one key. So you should have one card per class with a different color label for each one. The next list is big projects. So in this list, you're gonna keep a card for every project or paper from your classes. So generally, you're gonna hear about these reasonably far in advance. For example, so let's stick with AP World. Let's say we have a big research paper due at the end of October. So I would create a card, I would enter a due date for it, and apply the AP World label. What else do I wanna put on this card? Anything that I might know about this project, instructions, links to resources, other due dates. Plus you can start planning out your tasks for this project by putting in a checklist and mapping out the beginning task to get started. So before we go on, let me just point out a couple of other great ways to customize your cards. Cover. So first of all, you can add a cover to your card. Let's say your research project is on ancient Greek, Greek architecture. Well, you can search for or upload a photo of the Parthenon. Once you add it, that card will be much bigger and it will definitely pop visually. In addition, if you're using Trello on your phone, 
I use emojis to make the cards or lists more visually understandable or just plain cuter. You can insert them using the emoji keyboard into your card title or your list title. It just makes things a little bit more fun. Okay, so that is three lists. Next, I have all of my action lists, starting with later, then this week, today, and done. So this is how this works. As you receive assignments during the day, you enter them as cards into your today list. Make sure you apply the right label so that you have all these tasks that are color-coded by your classes. Then, when you sit down to do your schoolwork for the day, the very first thing you're gonna do is organize your lists. First, determine what tasks you absolutely need to do today. You can drag and drop those to the top of your today list in the order that you wanna do them. The tasks that you do not need to do today will be moved to this week, meaning that you intend to do them within the next seven days, or they need to be moved to the later list, meaning that the timeline for that task is beyond the next week. Do a quick read through of all the tasks on both lists to determine whether you need to move them to another list. In other words, maybe you have some things on your this week list that you put on a couple of days ago that now actually need to be done today. Or you have some on the later list that need to be pulled up to this week. Okay, so once you've organized your tasks, you can get started. You can drag and drop your tasks into the order that you wanna complete them. For time management, I will also mark tasks with the time that I wanna start them or how long that I think they will take. Once I've completed a task, I drag it over to the done list. I keep my done list to the far left, which is actually against Trello and Kanban board orthodoxy, but hey, I'm a rebel. Four other things quickly. Projects, personal tasks, daily tasks, and calendar. So projects. You have some big projects or papers for some of your classes in that list, right? What you need to do is break them into smaller tasks to get started on them, like this. Research a topic, create an outline, write a first draft, etc. You can put each of these tasks into the project card as a checklist. Then, when you're ready to work on the project, you can convert these checklist items into individual cards so that you can move them over to your action lists to work through them one at a time. Personal tasks. You can also use Trello for all of your tasks, not just the school-related ones. I would suggest using a different label or labels for personal stuff. Daily tasks. There are certain chores that you will do every day, like walk the dog or unload the dishwasher. Trello isn't great at these repeatable tasks, but you can make them work with a little effort on your part. So say every day you wanna do four things. Um, I would keep all of those at the top of this week, the this week list. When you are doing your organizing for the day, you drag these over to your today list and you sort them in to your other tasks in the order that you wanna complete them. You know, also figure out a way to make them look different with an emoji, a label, or a cover photo because when you are finished doing that chore, you will drag it back over to the this week list rather than dragging it to the done list. As I said, it's not great, but it is one way to handle repeating tasks. And finally, calendar. If you turn on the calendar power up, you can see all of the cards that you have assigned due dates to in monthly calendar format. It's useful to see big projects, upcoming tests, and papers. And that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.